So when you are having kink play, this is not like a 10 minute adventure. This is something you need to dedicate your time, like time to and do before care, during care and after care. And so when you're doing your before care, you're having your conversations, you're learning about what your safe words are, you're learning what the scenario is. And then during care is to check in with your partner to see if they're okay, if they have anything to add. If you are the dom, it's to make sure that they're safe. If you're the sub, it's to speak up for yourself if you're not gagged in any situation. Um, in this case, with urination fascination, you could be gagged and peed on. You know, these things can kind of go in tandem. So being able to give cues so that you feel safe is super important and to still fulfill the requirement of the full fantasy. So make sure you have time allotted for this. And I recommend that, you know, you're like a minimum of one hour, like by far minimum, but closer to two for most any scenarios is really helpful because sometimes the aftercare takes a while as things come up and need to be discussed. So you want to, again, get your environment so that it's safe, right? So you want to waterproof things, get everything covered, um, and you want to have things that you can clean up afterwards, whether it's buckets and water cleaning materials of all sorts, bathtubs so you can wash yourself, um, laundry so that you can wash your clothes, all that sort of stuff. So, and water, lots of water to drink as well is really important. So always the, the discussion is really important, but also having some education in it. So if you've never played water with water sports before and you don't really know what to do, how to do it, it would it's really great if you could take either a King 101 class 